Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is Polar Pass this time. We are doing how to be an expert all over again. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, I'm, I'm uploading every second day, so there'll be seven videos every two weeks. And here we go, this is Polar Pass. I had a lot of fun with this one too, just like with um, Dingo Canyon. This one didn't actually take me that many attempts, thankfully. Uh, it's quite a tough track, especially with the first lap shortcut. So what we do here is we do two boosts to the right of the start and three boosts to the left. This means that we can take the most optimal line into this figure eight on lap one. The reason we go on the left side on lap one is so that we can get that boost pad very easily. It's in our line of sight. We go faster. Then what you want to do is you want to hop down this hill right here. And now we've got to this section. This is the hardest part of the entire track for Polar Pass. Lap one, big boy shortcut. The reason why it's so hard is because there's very little room for error. If I go to uh, draw, we can fast forward to the part where we need to be right here. Uh, let's go back slightly actually. So right here, where we want to be aiming for, I'll do it in red is this section right here. We want to go as close to this wall as possible while drifting. You have to be drifting into this. Yeah, we hop down the hill and go straight here, but you need to start a drift as you're going over this boost pad and you want to jump right on this section here. And as you'll see from the shortcut that we do, we jump from it, just make it over can be a lot faster we can make it wait without skimming the corner but it's absolutely fine if you skim the corner you don't lose much time at all maybe a couple frames not a big deal you want to jump on these two crests here I'll, re I'll go back again uh to this section so you just go forward miss the seals you want to jump right here on this crest and then right here on this crest you get it's just the optimal way to do it you get two landing boosts so you won't lose fire and you're not drifting, so it's it's more optimal. Two boosts to the right, one uh, three to the left, and we do this to go through the figure of eight as fast as possible without drifting, uh, because we've got the reserves. This this shortcut is now way easier. You just cut it really close, as close as you can. Hop over these jumps, triple boost to the left, stay right down the inside, avoid the seals. Probably could have gone left side of the seals, but it was a bit risky when going for a time like this. Look at how far behind the dev time is, though. Absolutely left it in the dust, and it's only lap two when that, we're that far ahead. Going on to the final lap, same thing again, two boosts to the left. I didn't actually do three boosts to the right that time. That's another technique that you can do. You can just jump it instead. I actually skimmed that wall, didn't lose fire somehow. Very lucky. But you, you get the gist. Do the shortcut again. Right down the inside, do a U-turn so that you cut out as much time as possible by going right down the inside. Three boosts to the left, avoid the seals. Had some bad seals this uh, run, definitely could have had better seals. Um, yeah, simple as that. Make sure that you do this cut right here, lap two and three. U-turn as you reach the track, and 158.48 is the final time that I got. Very fast time. Only 0.27 of a second off my PB. Third fastest time I've ever got. Um, I don't actually know where that puts me, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely top 30 on Xbox that time. So, yeah. Hopefully this helps. This is like a good... I think it's 11 seconds faster than the dev time. So, plenty of work um, to do for those of you who are close to the dev time. So much time that you can save. One of the easier dev times for sure, so if you haven't done this one yet, try it now after you've seen this video. Even if you can't get everything that I showed you in this video into your run, at least try some of the things. If you can't, if you can't do lap one shortcut, don't bother with it. You do not need to do it to beat the dev time. The dev time doesn't even do it. I don't even think that the devs knew about that shortcut when they did it. They probably still don't. Um, but yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. Catch you all in the next one.